Well, we're on the Minis and Motorbikes this week. Hello, we're from Brands Hatch again. again. Back at Brands Hatch. Now, yeah. why are we at Brands Hatch this time, Historic though? Historic Formula One. Historic Formula One? Yes. Right, should we get down a pit lane and see what's going on? Let's get cracking. Brilliant. We're here with the East Anglia Blowers Club and uh, we're here with Ralph and he's going to talk us through some of these cars that we've got here today. Um, first one Ralph, this is a new one isn't it? Yes, this is uh, brand new, this was picked up on Thursday brand new from Endeavour Lotus at uh, Colchester. Uh, this is the Amira, uh, very nice spec in verdant green, 405 horsepower, uh, probably one of the last yeah, last like petrol. This for the petrol. Yeah, yeah, such a shame. Yeah. They yeah. do the V6. I like the V6. It makes yeah, it sounds, yeah, so sounds. Doing a two litre, I think it's the Mercedes one with the DSG gearbox. Mm. And there's allegedly a V8. Yeah, well, that, that, that gearbox that. isn't good either. No, I don't like that. No, box. no, I think a lot of people are having trouble. Right, right next yeah. one. I know this one. This is a lot. It's a land. This is definitely a lot of land. Yeah. Uh, plus two, uh, 130 power speed um, with a diaphragm problem on the headland. <laughs> the vacuum has the uh, the fact it's come up. Sometimes they wink at you. They like winking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it used to be a thing where you used to look out for. Get it like it's just a flash yeah. so they do the Yeah. This one, um, the, the current owner got it about eight years ago mm. and uh, he drives it not daily but regularly. Generally. Yeah. Uh, it's a good reliable car, easy to do. There are aftermarket 
modifications you can make if you get one uh, you want to go from scratch okay. and you decide not to go to the um, uh, older stuff. Spider chassis do a replacement chassis, yeah. which is the main replacement now. But you can also fit the Ford Z-Tech engine in them now. Uh, what so about Duratec? Could you get that in there? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, the Spider, it'll fit in the chassis, it'll fit in the car. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Now this one, this one's a bit special. This is yeah. one of my favourites. Uh, uh, yes, I know a bit about this one. Yeah. It's mine. It's yours. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is um, well up to a silk red right-hand drive. Uh, it's three high wings. The were. I'm told 17 high wings made in right-hand drive. Bloody hell, yeah, it does one of them. Because you were saying to me earlier this was a development car for the, for the PS4. Yes, um, the uh, SE uh, will come out as a replacement for the upgrade for the uh, G car. But um, Lotus did work on it later on. And the high wings become the development for the S4. So there's more room inside a high wing. Uh, than there is other than SA things over the doors open wider there's more headroom there's more legroom yeah it's got the, the Renault box in it yeah it has yeah, yeah. they're rated at about 400 horsepower is that the same as the Alpine they had on the El yes. Alpine Renault Alpine yeah um, and some of the other Renaults yeah um, the 21 I think it was yeah and the, was the 16 I think it's the same on the V6 as well actually I think and I think it's yeah. on the same formula the formula cars had them yeah. as well I think yes yeah. Uh, and DeLorean, I think. Yeah, DeLorean, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Now, yeah, moving on to another modern modern version of the Elan. Yes, the only one here, the M100, which is a fr the only front-wheel drive Elan that Lotus did. Yeah. Um, this is a lovely colour. Um, but this has got the Isuzu 1.6 yeah, engine. Yeah, engine it. That engine's yes. come turbocharged, turbocharged and naturally aspirated. Yeah, because I didn't realise they did a turbocharged version of it, actually, yeah. to be fair. Most I thought they were all naturally aspirated. Yeah. But. Most of them were turbocharged, so not that many naturally aspirated. No. And, um, you yeah, um, this is a nice example. It uses the Isuzu engine, as I said, and one of the GM gearboxes, which is attributed to Isuzu, but... They look very similar, like all the other Opals or Vauxhalls that we're familiar with. Yeah, did you say it was Proton that we're going to use yes. it? The, the original design for, and then I yeah. ended up using it. That's right. Yes. They were made. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of the best handling front-wheel drive cars. Yeah. And a lot of the uh, big companies developing front-wheel drive cars will test uh, against this. Um, this sets a standard for front-wheel drive handling. Yeah. I, but the other good thing about it is it's got an enormous boot. You can get <laughs> golf, <laughs> golf clubs in there easily. <laughs> so, you know, it's a good, practical, yeah. everyday car. Right, next one. Right, uh, we've got another Lois Lowest sedan. Yes, this is another plus two. Yep. Uh, two plus two. Like the, the red one, it's uh, the 130 engine. I can't remember whether this is a four or a five speed. Um, it's in nice condition. It's uh, yeah, it's nice and all yellow. It's nice yeah. and it's yellow. Yeah. Um, but it is virtually the same specification as the red one we looked at earlier. Oh, lovely. So yeah. Yep. And then S4. Spring. Oh, this is actually an SE. SE. This, this is a Stevens SE. This yeah. is older. So it's the SE that I wouldn't fit into. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> the other one is an SE, but it's a later yeah. SE. Oh, I see. The high yeah. wings were the developments for the S4, oh. and they have more space inside. In the the SE was the replacement for the G car. You know the ones that were in the James Bond yeah. films. Yeah. And um, yeah, so this would have replaced the Series Three, which would yeah. be the the bronze James Bond with the skis on the back, yeah. yeah this, lovely. this will have the uh, turbo engine. It doesn't have the intercooler that mine has. It has just a the turbocharger. Puts out about 215 horsepower. Uh, I don't know whether this has got the Renault box or the Citroen box. Oh, okay. but it could be yeah. either. Could be either. Um, yeah. Probably the Citroen with the 215. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's on on carburetors. Yeah. Whereas the later ones were on fuel injection. Yeah, so they're still a good looking car, aren't they? Yeah, they haven't aged really. Yeah. Now we're coming into modern times yeah. now, are we? Well, <laughs> yeah. This is not least. It is the uh, 111R, I think. It's a Toyota engine. Which is probably the better engine, actually, to be fair. I would dispute that. Yeah. Because I have the K series in my K-Tron, and I don't yeah. have a problem with that. No. 
Yeah. The K series is a brilliant engine. Yeah. I mean, one of the reasons well, it's for moving was for the road were going down and they couldn't get K series. Yeah. <laughs> and they had to change. Yeah. 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 The disadvantage of the Toyota engine over the K series is it used a lot more room in the engine space, so you got a lot less boot uh, space. Uh, and you don't have a lot of boot space for these. No. Um, but yeah, they're reliable little cars, they'll go on forever, they're economical. So, and they they handle really well. Yeah. yeah. Personally, I find them a little bit hard work. Not because they're bad, they're very, very good, but when they go, they really go yeah. quick. Yeah. Um, you yeah. don't get a lot of warning when it's going to break. No. Whereas no. the Esprit actually tells you. Tells you, it's going to let you know. Yeah. A little inkling. Just, yeah. no, I'm just saying, slowly, then it goes. Yeah. Was, yeah. It's going. It's just, yeah. 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 Right. So we're on another Elan. <clears throat> yes, another plus two. Yeah. Now, this one is a proper JPS. Yeah. Uh, it's been registered as a JPS, um, which means it's got a unique colour scheme. Again, you notice a different trim in this. This is half leather, half off. Yep. Uh, it's an, another 130 horsepower, five speed. Um, very original, this car. Yeah, we've seen this one before. We, yeah. we did a car show and it was there and we, we, yeah. we pushed, we seen it before. Yeah, yeah. It's well maintained. It's, yeah, it goes well. Um, so, yeah, it's. Golf uh, Lake as well. Yeah. Yeah. The roof, I think, was a, a respray layer on. Yeah. The metal flake is a bit more. Bit intense. More in your, yeah. Yeah. Bit more in your face. Yeah. yeah. But um, they did come out of the factory with quite big flakes. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, all right. Next one. Another release. On another release. This is another Toyota. Yeah. Um, the 111R, much the same as the one up there. Yep. It, uh, yeah, it does what it says on the tin. It'll be... They are nice looking cars, they aren't are. they? Yes. They're not great to gear, they no, are. No, I, I, I couldn't <laughs> have Especially one. you. Yeah, I couldn't have yeah. one. It's just, that's the that's shame of it, really. I've got yeah, one. But it is what it is. Yeah. And the last editions were up on 250 horsepower. What do they weigh? up. This? 900. 900. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's about, yeah. <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> they got a lovely <laughs> hood design on the lid. Yeah, really like easy hood. to put yeah. on. Yeah. yeah, I like that. And if you're tall, yeah. then you can... I can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a good passion to see. Yeah, now this one's gold leaf on this yes, one. Yeah, this is a gold leaf colour. Um, I don't know much about this car. I haven't seen it a lot. A lot of people have a go about the K-Series. Again, I've got it in my k -trim. It takes... A lot of abuse. I don't yeah. think they cause a problem. No. There are some changes you can make to make sure they're reliable. But other than that, they're generally a yeah. good engine. No, I don't think they've got a good engine. I had an NGTF with a 161 in it, and yeah. that was, there was nothing wrong with that. It's a bit tappity, but yeah, you uh, get some insult and stuff like that. Because there's a mechanical tap. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't think there's a hydraulic. No. Tap. Hard to no. tell. Although my Caterham is on, on hydraulics. hydraulics. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, my k is about 165. This will be 160 if it's a... Yeah, I mean, you can supercharge them, turbocharge them. Yeah, they're fine. that's right. Yeah. Um, I think some of the ones in the k went up to somewhere around 250 horse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah without, any, without any alterations at all. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's probably that's like the Honda influence in it, I should think, isn't it, or not? Well, the Honda did use that yeah. as a joint project. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they're not as unreliable as people think. No. Usually the issues are... Bad maintenance. Yeah, not looked half. Yeah. Uh, the other They're thing I'll change. find is that um, they overheat sometimes because the thermostat sticks it. Yeah. And the thermostat is on the bottom hose. <laughs> but they did that because yeah. of yeah. Yeah, quick warm up. Warm up. Yeah. Uh, some a stupid government legislation that said you have to warm up yeah. quicker yeah. so they stop the water getting in yeah. so they warm the engine up and then you get sticky thermostat <laughs> and then the engine cooks and the head gasket yeah. goes no I don't like this <laughs> um, yeah. whereas again no, yeah. with the, so again you put a, do, a decent head gasket on it you know yeah. a racing head gasket on it they don't have any well, you can change the thermostat yeah. to the top hose yeah because there are kits that allow you yeah. to do that yeah um, yeah. There's several companies that do it, QED being one, because they do them, but yeah. yeah, just put it into the top it's, hose. In, in our builds, we've been using a lot of K series engines, you yeah. know, a lot of our mini builds and bits and pieces. So, yeah. um, yeah, and no they're, with it. they're not a problem, just get the thermostat in the right place yeah. and let it work properly, <laughs> and yeah, you're not going to cook your engine. Uh, all right. So well, yeah. that was very interesting. Thank very you. much appreciated. And, no and, um, and it's been a nice day, and, and yeah, we've, we've had, a, had a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and we've got to you know, thank the Lotus Club for it. There'll be uh, more of those around tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's just wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you.
everybody. A uh, bit of a strange one. Couldn't do a proper finish at the at the Formula One festival. Um, Mark's picked something up, so I have to say goodbye from from here. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and give us a lovely comment and a lovely thumbs up. Much appreciated. Thank you so so much. Hope everything's back to normal next week. See you then. Yeah. Quick, someone's coming. Quick. Commandeered to give a brief <laughs> talk at each. I don't know a lot about them all, but I'll do my best to. You picked that up 10 years ago? Probably stop me on Mark Common.